Hi guys, uh, welcome again to Orkiza Garage. Today I'm gonna do um, change the thermostat for 2007 Honda Civic EX and up. Uh, I'm gonna use this one, the C-Rex, this bad boy. It's the blue one, it's right here. I'm gonna put the link on the description below later. And also I'm using this one, the Murray Plus. This is the part number, it's a thermostat. So if you are uh, changing the thermostat, you have to use this one too, the O-ring gasket. And then these are the thermostat. All right, so first I'm gonna let the engine cool down and then slowly drain the coolant. All right guys, let's go. Guys, here's the 07 Civic. I'm not gonna open the radiator cup first because they're hot. And then the, the pet top is right here in the middle. So I'm gonna show you where they at. It's right here. It's right there. So what I'm gonna do, set up the camera. If you guys can see it. And okay. Slowly open it up. And then don't forget to use your safety goggles. So now I open the the radiator cup. So it should drain faster. While this one is draining, I'm gonna take up this one right here, the cover upstairs uh, on the top. The thermostat is right here. So I'm gonna take this one too, upper radiator hose, and then the thermostat housing is right here on the lower radiator hose. While this one is draining, I'm gonna take up the clips. Okay. Only a few clips, I think. And then be careful because they're plastic and then they're brittle. See that? You hear that? It's crunchy. Okay. On the side, this one here too. And this one on the other side. So there's one, two, three, four clips. All right, so this one is like one uh, clamp, it's another one. So what I'm gonna do, spray some WD-40 from here so it's more easy to rotate the, the clamps and to take it off or to put it over here. Okay, so this one is easy to put the clamps over here. But here you have to go underneath to get the, the the clamps because the the clamps is facing this way now you have to break the hose and then put some uh, drain fan underneath and then close the pet cap we're gonna use the big boy to break the hose so now this is the coolant uh, housing what I'm gonna do take out this bracket this all 10 so I have more space to take it out this right here so I'm gonna take this two bracket first 10 millimeter Okay. 
all I need is just like that and then spray more of the of that uh, what you call this BB blaster to get to the clamp I have to get this one And then get ready your catch fan underneath. It's basically fairly easy. E easy job. So now it's all good. And then it's right here. It's only two uh, bolts right here. Once you take this off, I'm sure there's more. Oh, by the way, the, the balls are longer. There's more coolant down. That will spill. Or there's some, I'm sure. See that? Slowly and then your catch fan and then also you see the if you guys can see it there's the the dent and then see the jiggle valve you have to be upstairs for this one because that's where the flow of the coolant you don't want that to facing different direction I'll uh, bleed the system Oop. If you guys can see there's the dent right here that's where this two dimple where you put it in what I'm gonna do clean this one first clean the housing and then put some little bit of dressing for the sealant all right guys I'll show you after all right guys so these are the new one and then you see the dimple I'm talking about right here and then the jiggle valve we have to be right here in the middle okay and then I'm going to show you also how to bleed the system. I have the final two. And then clean the housing. Just to prep it. Just to prep. Just to make sure that uh, there's no leak. Alright. Guys, okay, so I'm about to put the new one. Just to make sure they stick it in. So you don't have a hard time later on to put the, the housing. Okay, like I see, like I said, the jiggle had to be uh, right here, straight, and then push it in, it should uh, flash, okay, and then now I'm going to put the, the housing, but I'm going to put some a little bit of dressing for the silicone, so I use this one guys, you guys can see it's the Parametex, oh man, they're really good they never give uh, this sealant never give me a problem so right here just gonna dress up enable for this to to stick really good it had to be dried just wipe it out clean it and then just to make sure everything's good so why I'm putting this one some I seen people other people they don't really put it because you have, already have the gasket for me my reason is just some extra insurance you know nothing else that's it just I just don't want future uh, leaks because it's gonna cost me more headache especially if I'm doing this as my uh, side job I don't want the impression of having that you know okay so everything should be good I mean you can put this a little bit more if you guys want it you know 
well, however you guys want it because you guys are the ones working on it so for me not that much just the dressing you know not too crazy and then I can hand thread the other one. And then it should be good. And then slowly work my way up. Okay, now I'm switching to regular one. This one, it's not, not too crazy, guys. You don't have to, you know, tie it like crazy. Just it's not, that's it. Because this one, it's not going anywhere. Because you already have like the sealed, I already have the insurance, I have the gasket, nothing else. Just like, you know, the bolts are just to keep them in place and tight. And then, I'm gonna put spray pb blaster so it's more easy for me to put the holes that's it there you go nothing else put my also put the pb blaster right here so it's easy for the clamp to go up Okay, that's it, and then put this one, the bracket. There's another one right here. I want to you don't have to go crazy too all right up next is the uh, upper radiator hose what I'm gonna do spray the inside spray down there it's more easy I'm gonna put the inside first that first put this one second okay and then put this one spray PB blaster also this this clamp are our locking locking clamp so I don't know how to open it guys if you guys have a comment below how to unlock this one please because I don't know how to this one and then one time I got pinched my finger over here when I'm trying to uh, uh, play with a flat screw or something and then it pinched my my hand so please comment below how to unlock this one and able to get to this you just have to be creative get this angle and then slowly put it in but you had to spray a lot of WD-40 so it slides smooth especially this one too and also please guys let me know how to unlock this one I, I just like hammer it and then just like shoot shoot up so I'm glad I have my safety glasses so now I'm gonna put everything back uh, I'm gonna take up the on the lower radiator hose I know because there's like a little bit more coolant down there just want to flush everything as much as I can underneath this one right here it's the lower radiator hose I'm gonna take it off I got my Cyrex right here 
So Coolant Blue are for Honda, Subaru, Mitsubishi, uh, okay, Hyundai. This is 50 50. I have to add water. Ready to go. I only buy one. What I'm gonna do? I'm I'm gonna cheat. I'm gonna put a little bit of uh, water later if I need more because this bad boy right here is almost like thirty bucks. Before it's like fifteen dollars. Okay, that's good enough for now. I'm gonna put everything in the cover and then put in the in the street so I can bleed it right. So it's all level. Also, guys, when you're putting the, the front cover, the plastic, this one needs to be tucked into the front grill right here. And also this one. Don't forget about that one. This one, this one. Just tuck in from here inside. Slide it in. Okay, so now I'm just gonna put in the flat surface. Bleed the system is you put the special funnel. You put your adapters, you put the same similar cup, and then you put it you idle, you put it on uh, full blast on uh, heater, and then you wait for your temperature, and then you wait for the cooling fan to turn on. So once the once the cooling fan turn on, it should be good. I'm just like waiting for the bubbles to uh, come up. I'm just gonna idle it up and then you know hopefully just warm up right away and pretty much that's it so like and subscribe guys thank you for your, all your support i'll see you soon again